With your first news at 10 Sports, here's Luke Gamble. Pittsburgh State's volleyball team has won back-to-back -back matches after dropping two in a row. But tonight, a Mondag Conference title is on the line. The Mystics searching for a win before their final tune-up to end the regular season. A tall task on the other side. Miles has won eight straight coming into tonight. Tied at 14 in the first set. Miles returns a BSC serve. Mystics set it up. Shaley Bosch is there for the kill going cross courts. 24-14 now. Reese Dukeshire collecting an ace and that will seal the set for BSC. To the second set we go. The Mystics returning now. Keaton Piercy lofting one down. The Mystics Take set two just like that. They go on to win it in straight sets. The Mystics are the 2024 Mondak champs. WDA cross country runners getting their final tune up in the fall classic today before the state meet next weekend. And the girls 3K Legacies Eva Selensky finishes first at 1051, but BHS finishes first in the team ranking. For the boys, the Demons dominate, sweeping the top five. Owen Hintz wins it at nine minutes and five seconds. Here's the team leaderboard for the girls. Legacy Century and Mandan round out the top four and a perfect 15 for the Demons on the boys' side. Century, Mandan, and Legacy fall in line behind them. Well, the Beach Buccaneers are back in the playoffs for the first time since 2020. The man leading them there is Mike Zier. He's a man of many talents in a town of less than 1,000. But the impact he's made goes far beyond that. JT Farabo put Zier in this week's Sports Spotlight. Beach, North Dakota. It's exit one. The last stop before crossing into Montana. Though there's no sand or ocean here, good things still wash up on its shores. I couldn't really have asked for a better place. Mike Zier is one of them. This is my 25th year in beach. It's my 19th as head coach. Zier is the athletic director head football and track coach, and teaches history at Beach High School. It's not always easy making it all work in a small Class B town. You go to some places and, and you know you're going to have certain things that you can consistently compete for championships and stuff. Well, at Beach, we just don't have those numbers. Zier has left a lasting impact on the athletes he's been around. Coach Zier, I love Coach Zier. He loves to joke around, loves to mess around. And when it comes to football, that's when he means business. I've never met a more amazing person in my life. He's not your typical modern day coach. I would say, yeah. Uh, I mean, I probably would consider myself old school. I found that it really triggers some people and surprises some people uh, that I don't have a phone. But there is one social media platform he loves to use. In 2013, my sociology class and I, we were talking about social media and I said, okay, I'll start a Twitter account. 11 years later, the man from a town of less than 1,000 has a Twitter following of nearly four times that. I do it on the PC and on my iPad. And uh, it's crazy because I've met people from all over the country. Much of that following is thanks to his biggest hobby. Oh, well, card now, uh, now you're talking now. So this is my card When it comes room. to trading cards, his collection is top. It's kind of immense. Card collecting has been my hobby since uh, so the first cards. set I collected was uh, 1985 Topps football set. Something that started Back thanks to a sixth grade teacher who Jordan shared Melvin, the hobby rookie, has stuck with them uh, ever since. Ever People like cycle through stuff. I never got out of it. I never stopped collecting cards. It's a sweet escape from the stress of leading the Buccaneers. If I'm having a bad day or whatever, I can go home and sort through cards, look through things, and uh, I really enjoy that. Just like he enjoys the comfort of exit number one, his own beachfront property in North Dakota. All these are the victories in I've Beach. Had as head coach, and then these I'm JT Farabo reporting playoff wins. for your news leader. All right, Landry, have a good night. You too. We'll see how Zier and the Bucks fare in the playoffs. <laughs> I'd love to see those cards. <laughs>